Welcome to the Swimming From Home talk show. I'm here with Reagan Smith. Um, so I, you were in Des Moines. <clears throat> I think you had a pretty solid meet there. I don't know what you thought of it, but um, so take me through the, the next couple weeks, I guess up until now, kind of how, how the, you know, the COVID-19 virus has affected your day-to-day -day life up until then. Yeah, it's just really crazy how rapidly things progressed after Des Moines, just because, you know, everything was just completely total normal life in Des Moines. You know, like we were doing autographs and getting close with a whole bunch of kids and being in close quarters at a swim meet. And then literally, what was it, four or five days later, meet started getting canceled and everything started changing. And it was just so weird and things were happening so quickly. And within a week, I went from thinking that this whole virus was blown so far out of proportion that people were freaking out over nothing to being really scared and just kind of having to come to terms with the fact that, you know, this summer I'd be staying home and, you know, nothing would be going on. So I really had to change my mindset really quickly. And since I was finally able to, you know, accept what happened, I've just kind of been riding this wave of like, okay, it'll be over soon. Just stay inside. Like, work out when you can and where you can. And that's just what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. So ever since I've, you know, kind of accepted what's been going on about two weeks ago, I've just been kind of going through the motions of, I think what everyone else has been doing. Yeah. Was, uh, did you have an initial reaction to them finally officially saying that the Olympics would be postponed? Yeah. I think since I had been preparing myself for so long hearing them officially coming out and announcing it was almost a relief for me. I was just glad that they, you know, came out and said it instead of dragging it out for like another four weeks, like they said they might do. So I was just really happy that they came to a firm decision. And, you know, I was bummed out, but at that point I had really, you know, gotten myself in that mindset of like, okay, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of when are they going to tell us that it's happening? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, in, in a similar vein, um, did did you have a, a, a reaction? I'm I'm guessing that your school has been canceled for the rest of the year. Yeah. Uh not yet, but we might get there. It's oh, through okay. May fourth right now. And when when does the school year end for you? Uh May twenty ninth is my last day. Okay. Oh, okay. So so you could still have like uh your prom and your high school graduation and those Maybe. things are kind of still on the table for you? As of right now, yeah, but I have no clue. Right. <clears throat> gotcha. Well, that's hopeful. Yeah. <laughs> Something to maybe look forward to. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, so yeah. So with your time inside, how, what have you been doing so far? Um, I've been, um, hanging out with my dogs a lot. We've had a lot of family movie nights, all of us together. Um, I've had a lot of really low key days where I just sleep in late and kind of lay in my bed and just hang out. It's been very nice to just kind of like unplug for a little bit and just kind of sit back and let myself recharge. Just, um, it was really nice because, um, my spring break was this past week, but when everything started going on about two weeks ago, my school shut down like how a lot of other schools did. So then my spring break ended up being two weeks. So I got two weeks without any schoolwork at all. So that was just kind of like me living the life for a few weeks there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been pretty low key. And um, a little while ago, I was able to um, get in the pool just for a few sessions. Like I had very limited space, but now Minnesota's on lockdown. So that's out now. It started on Friday. Um, so yeah, I haven't been in the water in a little while now, but um, I've just been trying to stay active however I can out of the water, but also trying to keep things chill at the same time. Cause I, I never really get to kind of sit back and not do much. So it feels good. Yeah. That's, I mean, that sounds very nice. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's a change, <laughs> but it's really great. Yeah. What, so yeah, like in Des Moines, I just talked to you about how you had started dry land within the last 12, 18 months, you know, mm -hmm. what are you doing for for out of the water workouts now? Yeah, I'm, um, I'm trying to run a lot. My coach, Mike really loves running. He think it's, he thinks that it's a great addition to, you know, like cardio and building up your endurance heading into the long course season. So we run a lot in the spring typically. So I've just been trying to do that a lot on my own. And, um, 
my trainer is really great. She works with me a lot, you know, sending me workouts, things that I can do at home because I'm lucky to have a little bit of equipment at my house too. Nice. So I've just been doing that. And I mean, it's, it's not the same, but it's, it's as close as I can get. So honestly, I have a pretty good scenario right now. And I was also able to work with her in her gym for a while. But then again, since the lockdown, I haven't been able to. So I haven't seen her since last Friday was our last session, but yeah, she's been sending me stuff since then and we've been making it work. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. Are you still able to ha so, you know, I, I, I feel as a high schooler socializing is a pretty big part of your life. Like, are you still able to socialize these last few weeks? Yeah, definitely. Um, before things got really bad, um, it was like, in that little sweet spot where all the college kids were coming home, but we weren't on like quarantine lockdown mode yet. And a lot of my really best friends are from college. So I got to see them and spend some time with them, which was so great and like really much needed. And even though I can't see them right now, just knowing that they're like close to me now and in Minnesota and we're all in like the same general area just like makes me feel really good. Um, so that's been really great too. It's been, yeah. It's been really nice knowing that they're closer to home. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So w when you're not working out, uh, you know, have you have you watched any great shows? Have you seen Tiger King? Like, what what have you been doing? <laughs> um, my whole family is watching Tiger King right now, actually, and <laughs> <laughs> people are obsessed with it. And I've just been like watching little snippets of it. Like, if I'm in the kitchen getting food or something, and they're sitting down watching it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll like glance at it for a little bit, but no, I haven't like sat down and watched it. I've just been like doing whatever. I'm a big person who likes to just watch what's on TV instead of like binging a series. The only yeah. series that I've ever really successfully binged was Stranger Things, but I've seen that like 10 times. So I don't really want to sit through and watch it all again. I've thought about it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll typically just like watch whatever's on TV, like Keeping Up with the Kardashians just aired their new season. So I watched that and I'm just kind of like picking and choosing and seeing what interests me because I'm so bad at like binging series. Like I can't like, I don't know. So I just like sit and look at live TV, which is boring, but yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you have any like hobbies or creative outlets that, that you occupy your time with as well? Yeah. Other than just like playing with my dogs and being stupid with them. I like coloring kind of, I'm not, I'm not good at it. I say that very lightly. Like I like coloring just because one day um, before all this happened, it was like a month ago, I was bored with my boyfriend and we were at school. We were at his college because his college is like 30 minutes from my house so I can go visit him, which is super nice. great. But um, um, we were super bored one day. And so we just went out and bought this big coloring book. And then I spent like 20 bucks on a big pack of markers. And I've just been doing a lot of that recently. It's like, well, I, I used all that money to buy that nice stuff. And now I actually like have time and a reason to use it. So I've been trying to do more of that. Nice. Yeah. So it's what? like, I'm a terrible artist, but like, it's fun. So yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, just like the big books where all you do is color, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That stuff's just so fun. I think it's like relaxing and kind of like eases stress a little bit too. Absolutely. Do you, yeah. does your, do your books have themes? Um, the one that we bought was, it was like different cities in the world. So I did one on Hong Kong and then I did one on Miami and then my boyfriend did one on New York and yeah, there's just like 50 different like city landscapes that you can color. Yeah. It was like a really random book. It was the only one left that was in target, but it worked for us. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that seems like a pretty cool, I've never even seen, like, it's just like the, the uh, skyline. It's like, it's like the name of the city is in big block letters in the center. And mm. then there's just like different stuff that the city's known uh, for. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. like the Hong Kong one that I drew had like a picture of dim sum in the background. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just like random stuff like that. It's like, ooh, I'm learning about their culture. Not yes. really, but like <laughs> I'm not in school. I'm still trying to learn. That's yeah. <laughs> so uh, is your school, are you doing online school right now or is your school mm. just out? Okay. No, yeah, today was actually our first day. So that was kind of weird, like getting used to everything. I'm, I'm already like kind of used to online school just because, you know, I've been kind of doing that like hybrid situation where I have like half my class online, then half at school. Mm -hmm. But yeah, now since all of them are online, it's kind of weird, like transitioning back into being that total online student. 
and um, the site that my school uses is the same site that a lot of other schools use like in our district and um, I guess probably the country too but they had a site-wide crash today so nobody could really get their schoolwork done <laughs> so it's like a big day for a lot of people I guess a lot of people were starting back up but yeah oh, wow. that's how our day went yeah do you, how many classes do you have in a normal day um, I have six this semester okay yeah. so did you have all six today yeah yeah because we yeah we don't have a block schedule and so I have four online classes regularly and then two where I'd be oh, okay. in the building so mm -hmm. yeah so just my two that got switched to online I was required to do today mm -hmm. just because like the sketch it's like they're still trying to work out the kinks I feel like nobody really knows what's going on like everyone's confused and the teachers are all like I just feel so bad I just feel like nobody really knows what's going on so but yeah yeah gotcha well so are, do you still not have homework no I do now I actually did a bunch I was super okay. proud of myself I did That's... some dry land training this morning and then I sat from about twelve thirty until three thirty, and was just trying to do some stuff and get ahead in some classes um like my other online classes that were never like face-to-face -face classes I was just trying to work ahead in those and I actually got a lot done which was great so yeah it distracted me for a few hours kept me busy and yeah I got ahead nice yeah super uh cool. so have since since this lockdown mm -hmm. um have you tried you know I you can't really pursue like long-term goals you know like an, an olympic goal or whatever or at least not in the pool mm -hmm. um has this changed kind of how you've set maybe your daily goals for yourself yeah i think so just because i've never been a huge daily goal person but i guess subconsciously you know you always have the goal of like okay go to practice today show up work hard you know do all that stuff and right. now not having that I I have the type of personality where I can get really stressed out and anxious easily if like things don't really roll the way that I thought they were going to go. Um, but I think what's helped me kind of make that mindset adjustment and learn to just like relax and go with it is just the fact that everyone is in the same boat as me. So that's made me feel a lot better and it's just made me kind of adjust and think instead of freaking out that I can't be in the pool and you know, do my dry line exactly how I need to. I just need to think like, be thankful for what you have and, you know, get creative with what you can do. And you're going to stay strong no matter what. It's, I'm learning that during this time, mental strength is more important than ever. And I think that's also something that I've struggled with throughout my swimming career. So I think this will be a really, really great time to try and, you know, strengthen up here rather yeah. than, you know, getting better in the pool and getting better in the dry land room, that'll come. But I think that this is a really great opportunity to focus on mental strength. Yeah. Have, have you thought about the, the implications of, of the Olympics being next year? Do you have a, or do you, do you have an initial reaction to that in terms of what that, what that means for you? Um, like what it means for my like goals or how I'm going to handle like this next year of training. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I think I've been really, really good at just placing all of my trust with my training and my coaches. Mm -hmm. And so I've always, you know, I've never really questioned what's going on in my training and I've, you know, never second guessed anything for as long as I can remember. And, I just, I know that Mike in conjunction with Greg are just going to come up with something that'll be, you know, perfect for me. And so I'm not going to worry about it just because, you know, there's no point in worrying about it. And I don't think anything's going to change. I mean, I just want to keep training how I've been training. And um, yeah, I mean, like I wouldn't train any differently if they were this summer versus a year from now, just because, you know, we always want to train hard and we don't really do a super long rest or taper or anything. And I think, I think things will stay the same and maybe I'm wrong about that. I mean, like I said, I put a hundred percent of my trust in my coaches and they kind of figure out all, all the tough stuff and I just do what they tell me to do. Um, but for me, nothing's going to change in my mind. Um, if that answers your question. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I think, I think I answered it. Oh yeah, you, you definitely. Um, what have you enjoyed about having 
having this time at being forced to stay at home so far yeah i've i've just enjoyed like getting to the point where i can confidently like be okay with the fact that like things aren't going according to plan because i've been really lucky with riptide with the team i've been at that things have really you know not been not been tailored to me but they've been really really good to me and things have things have always you know gone in my direction and really helped me out personally and really done things you know on my schedule just helping me out specifically and now that you know that can't happen it's really helped me realize like things aren't always going to be like that and you have to learn to adapt like you know even when things aren't tailored to you and specified to your needs and everything like that it sounds it sounds like my situation was kind of like snooty before it wasn't like that but just they were a really great team and really they really helped tailor to a lot of swimmers specific needs but yeah now that i now that I have to get used to, you know, not getting to go to my great private pool facility every day and getting to go to my dryland room, I've really enjoyed sitting back and being like, it's okay. How can I get creative and stay strong when I don't have my normal routine? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Have, have you been able to set up kind of a routine at home, you know, uh, on a daily basis? Yeah, I have over these past two weeks since I didn't have school. So I really like getting my workouts done in the morning and just kind of having the, the day to like veg out and chill. But now with school, I'm not sure if things are going to change just because I think one of my classes is requiring that we log on at a very specific time each day, mm -hmm. which is like mid to late morning. So now I'm like, well, shoot, like, I don't want to change my routine because I'm super comfortable with it now. But I mean, I guess this is like a weird time. So I'll get used to it. And who knows, maybe they'll get more flexible as things go on because like today, like the entire site crashed. So maybe that has something to do with it if people are all logging on at a certain time. I don't know. But um, yeah, I was in a routine and I hope it stays that way. So yeah. Yeah. Have, have you been able to... Um get guidance or talk, talk with anyone through kind of this time and, and being able to adapt and being okay with these new circumstances? Yeah, definitely. My parents have been there for me more than anyone. And it, I've honestly been really lucky. It hasn't been as much of a terrible struggle as I was scared it was going to be. I've, I've always been really lucky that I've been, I've been mentally strong in the sense of I've never, you know, felt, you know, depressed about what I'm going through or anything like that. So I've been really thankful in that respect. Um, but then, you know, struggling more on the stress, anxiety side of things. Um, my parents are just like extremely great. Like my mom, she, I don't think anything in the entire world could stress her out or make her anxious. She is just very calm and collected through anything. So I think when I'm around her, I just kind of feed off of that energy and then, you know, it helps me relax and feel better. So honestly, just being around her, we don't even need to talk about it. And I can just feel better because of it. Just with having her home from work and being around her more and seeing how she's handling, you know, all the stressors at work and just, you know, taking it like a champ and being so calm about it. It's helped me a lot. And then my dad, um, I do talk about it more with my dad just because um, it's not that my mom doesn't understand, but just she's so different. Like she just handles stress completely differently than I do. So I'm able to talk about it more with my dad and he's, you know, able to kind of look at me and say, dude, relax, like chill for a second. <laughs> so, so they're both really great in their different respects, but yeah, I'm really thankful that my parents are kind of the right recipe for me. Um, but yeah, if it ever gets to the point where I needed to talk to someone else, I have resources for that too, which is awesome. But yeah, so far my parents have been perfect for me. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of recipes, have you guys made anything good cooking wise during this time at home? Um, let's see. I've been making a lot of brownies, but not like the fancy brownies, just the brownies from the box. So <laughs> nothing super great. I mean, my mom really loves to cook. And now that she works from home and she has more time to like do fun stuff in the kitchen, she's been kind of experimenting and doing fun stuff, but I'm, I'm terrible at cooking. So I just kind of, I'm like the taste tester. Yeah. So I let her do all the hard stuff and then I just eat the food because <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at cooking, but I've really enjoyed that because I love my mom's cooking. And, you know, now that she has more time to 
like work on stuff, it's even better than it was before. Her meals were always amazing, but now that she has like more time to be home and do stuff, it's like that much better. So I've been enjoying eating. I haven't been enjoying cooking. <laughs> That's yeah. the important part. It's, it's solid. <laughs> um, has there been a favorite meal that she's made? Uh, it's, this is boring just because like I have this meal as a staple because I request it so often, but she makes this really good pasta with like tomatoes. It's like a tomato cream sauce and I'm, I'm very picky. So she just like makes this super, super great pasta with that awesome sauce. And I told her, I wanted her to start making it like twice a week or so, just because all the ingredients are like canned ingredients and like boxed ingredients. So they have a long shelf life, which is good in this quarantine. Like, yeah. Yeah, because, like, nobody really knows what the heck is going on with their grocery store and all that. But, yeah, she stocked up because she was like, oh, good. If you like all that, then I'll start making it more. So we're going to be having that a lot. <laughs> so I think that's, like, my all-time favorite. I just don't think I'll ever get sick of it. So that's my favorite. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for it. I think we're having it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, seriously. I'm so excited. Oh, that's like, that sounds great. Um, well, cool, Reagan. Any Any closing thoughts you've got? Um, I mean, I don't think so. No, unless you have anything else. I I think that's good. I think that was a, it was a good conversation. Yeah, I thought so too. I had fun. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, yeah, thank you so much for your time, Reagan. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy staying inside today. I don't know. I hope you can watch a good movie or something. <laughs> have Have you uh Have you watched any good movies lately? Um, actually. <laughs> We, my family watched a movie on Friday and it was recommended to me by my friend. And so I was like talking it up to my parents so big because they never let me pick what to watch just because I pick weird stuff, but it's called okay. triangle. Uh -huh. and I don't know. You pro have you heard of it? Think probably so. not. Probably not. It's, it came out like 10 years ago and it's just like this weird, okay. like thriller horror type movie. Um, it was like really confusing and really weird. And now I'm like banned from picking movie night. <laughs> like, it was so sad. Like the next night I was like trying to pick a movie and they're like, no, like you don't have a vote anymore. But if you need a movie to watch, I recommend trying Triangle. I think so it's you like liked four it. bucks to rent. It's okay. weird. It's okay. weird. But if you watch it, let me know. Give me credit. <laughs> Tell I everyone will. I recommended it. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll make my girlfriend watch it and be like, listen. Reagan Smith said, we have to try it. You guys will probably hate me, but it was interesting. <laughs> like, we had to think about it. You have to think about it. Yeah. That's what I, I recommend. I like films like that, so yeah. I'll give it a shot. Okay, awesome. Let me know if you do. <laughs> Definitely, will do.